Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining. We should be here today for the mail merge um, in, using Microsoft Word. Uh, my name is Patty Smirk, and I'm with Simplex IT, and this is our monthly office webinar. We do these uh, once a month, hence the name monthly office webinar, um, and it, we're always open to ideas for topics. So um, if you have anything specific you'd like me to cover, uh, certainly please send me an email. Uh, my email address here is on the screen, um, or give me a call, and we can always add that to the lineup. Um, but today we'll talk about mail merge um, using Word. Um, before we get there, uh, we just want to talk a little bit about our great partnerships. Of course, if you know Simplex IT, you know that we're a Microsoft partner. Uh, we also partner with Sophos uh, Security. We did a really great uh, cybersecurity seminar with them yesterday. I hope you were able to join us for that. If not, um, let me know. I may be able to get you um, some of the presentation material, but uh, that went really well. Um, and, and you can see on the screen a, a lot of our other great partnerships. Uh, should Simplex IT be your IT department? Well, we sure hope so. So if you can answer yes to any one of these questions, uh, please feel free to reach out and give us a call. Um, some people will tell us that they already have an IT department. Um, and we always like to say that we play well with others. So <laughs> sometimes uh, you may have an IT department, but you have a special project that pops up. Uh, maybe you don't have enough people to cover that project or the, the skill set or what have you. So we can certainly um, uh, help out there. Uh, we have a lot of fun uh, topics coming up. Um, in next week, we do our um, uh, project management webinar, so we do those monthly as well, um, and that's next week. And we're going to talk about task dependencies and constraints in projects. So if you're a project manager and you use Microsoft Project, um, join us for that. Um, and then we're really excited. On August 10th, we're doing our annual picnic. So uh, if you're local to the Northeast Ohio area, please come out, um, have a burger with us, play some games. We'll be spotlighting some new technologies. Um, that uh, we'll have like little breakout session type um, uh, setups for uh, some games should be a, a good time so that'll be on August 10th that's a Wednesday we usually do that after work um, you know later in the afternoon I think we're gonna start around 4 um, in August our office webinar is going to focus on using charts in Excel um, and then our PM webinar will be talking about building a project team and then in September, Office Webinar is, uh, I'm actually, I'm really excited about this one. It's Skype for Business, um, and I put it ain't just for video calls, because um, sometimes we think that Skype for Business is just, you know, just because we want to talk to, you know, our relative across the country face-to-face. Uh, -face. So it's, it's not just that. We use it a lot here at Simplex IT, um, and we do very little video call calls through it. So um, there's a lot more you can do, instant messaging, screen sharing, file sharing, um, recording. So... Um, yeah, please please join us for that. That should be a good one. Um, and then really excited also in October. I know it's a, it sounds like it's a far ways out, but it'll be here before you know it if summer goes by as fast as it usually does for us. Um, so we have our next executive seminar. Uh, we'll be covering backup and disaster recovery. Um, we're going to do that at uh, breakfast, I think. So uh, maybe start around 8 o'clock, have, um, you know, have some breakfast and talk about uh, uh, backup, disaster recovery, business continuity, um, things like that. As always, all of these events are on our event calendar page on our website. So if you go to our website, just simplex-it.com, um, there's an event calendar button at the top, and that has all of our events listed. Um, and then, of course, we um, we always push information out to social media. Probably the, that's our first um, you know our first stop when it comes to announcing new events. Um, so, you know, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, connect with us on LinkedIn um, to get the, the most up-to-date um, in, uh, invitations and information about our, um, about our events. All right, so Simplex IT is not just IT. Um, we certainly focus on IT, handling the IT needs of, of small to mid-sized businesses. Um, but we also have two other branches uh, you may have heard about. Simplex DBA focuses on um, ensuring the health and performance and usefulness of your corporate data. And then Simplex PM is the branch that I head up, and, and I'm trying to help um, project managers specifically at small to mid-sized companies. So usually when we think of project management, we think of the, the big organizations and the big enterprise projects, but a lot of that um, same methodology can be scaled to the small to mid-sized businesses. Um, so if you have a need for any of that, contact um, any of those uh, emails that you see on the screen there. Mine is patty at simplex-it for the PM stuff, and Doug can be reached at doug at simplex-it dot com for the data stuff. All right. 
Um, so without further ado, let's take a look at um, mail merge in Word. So I'm just going to uh, pause for a minute and switch screens here over to Word. Um, if you have any questions, um, certainly feel free to ask as we're going through. You can either type them in the chat window um, um, or just you know take yourself off mute and, and interject. Uh, mail merge, I, I know we used to fight with it. It was a, <laughs> a daily fight for a lot of us uh, many years ago. Every time we'd have to do a mail merge, we'd sort of cringe and, and um, you know, fight our way through it. And we were surprised when, when we got done successfully, right? Um, but it's gotten a lot, a lot better over the years. Um, so right now, what you see on my screen is just a Word document. So the only thing I did before the webinar started was I opened up Word. Um, and I think I went over to the mailings tab. Um, but, you know, if you just open up Word and open up a new blank document is, is pretty much all that this is that you're looking at. Um, the other thing I did in preparation for the webinar was I started a list. Um, so, of course, you know, just to take a step back, a mail merge is basically uh, where you're taking a, a document, um, like a, a, a template, if you will, or a document that's going to stay the same, a letter, um, and you're inserting uh, fields from other um, uh, from other from another spreadsheet. So um, let's say that I have a list of uh, customers that I want to send a letter to. You know, hey, we're moving. We want to tell you that we're moving. We want to tell you that um, you know we're going to be in a new location. So I can do that um, by merging my Excel list with my uh, Word document. So I'll bring up the list that I created, just kind of a, a silly little short little list here <laughs> um, for just a sampling of the, the people that I want to merge with. So here I have my list of you know seven people and pretend this is 700 or, or however many you want. Um, I've created uh, not so much letters, but um, labels for, you know, over a thousand, and it works the same way as it does for six or seven. Um, so you can do this, like I said, with a letter, with an email, with a label, what have you. It's all the same steps. So right now, um, I have my list that I created here, and I'm just going to minimize that and kind of keep that in the background. And I'm going to start my mail merge in Word, so I know that I'm going to use that list that you see there. Um, that you saw there in, Word, in Excel. So the very first step in Word is to go over to that Mailings tab at the top, and I'm just going to click on where it says Start Mail Merge. And when I do that, that's where I can select if I want to start a letter, an email, an envelope, or a label. And there's also a directory option. Um, that you can do that'll give you um, just like what it sounds like a, a directory where you have uh, information listed one right after another down a page or like a um, you know if you were doing like a, a yearbook type thing or a membership um, directory you may use you may use that format but very similar um, steps so I'm gonna say letter I'm just gonna start with a letter um, so I'm going to, going to click on letters and now I want to, now that I've told Word that I want to create a mail merge letter, now I want to find my recipients. Who am I going to send this letter to? Okay. So the very next button is Select Recipients. I'm just going to click on that, and I have a couple different options, as you can see. If I don't have a list already, I can type up a new list. Okay. I do have a list already because I typed my list before the webinar. Um, so I'm going to say use an existing list. Okay. Or if I were sending an email, um, or even not, I, I can still um, choose my Outlook count, uh, contacts. So if you've got all of your contacts in Outlook, um, you can merge those with a, a letter or label or what have you. Um, but I'm going to say use an existing list because I have an existing list sitting there in the background. And it is called Sample List for Mail Merge. So I created that this morning. I'm going to select it and click Open. Because it's an Excel workbook, it's going to ask me which sheet all my information is on. Um, and for this particular workbook, it's on Sheet 1. I'm just going to click OK. 
Um, the other thing is to mention, um, just watch at the bottom, the little checkbox where it says first row of data contains column headers. That just means that in your list, your first row of data is your labels, so first name, last name, company name. It's not an actual record or it's not, you know, not, not a person that you want to, to merge with. Sometimes if you're exporting from another system, let's say, and you create your Excel spreadsheet, you won't have these at the top, so you may miss one. So just keep an eye on that when you're when you're doing your mail merge. I do have them. I do have headers in the first row, so I'm going to leave that checked. And I'll click OK. So for now, I'm going to start my letter. Um, there's a couple different ways that I can start this. Um, up at the top, I have the options to add an address block or a greeting line. Um, so I can either type in, you know, dear so-and-so, or I can add a greeting line from the, the ribbon at the top. So let's say that I don't want to type it out manually. I want to create the, the entire greeting line um, using the greeting line option at the top. Here I can select what my, um, you know, what my greeting line will say. So I'm going to say dear, and here I can select the format of what I want it to look like. So I'm going to say um, I just want the first name. Dear Joe, Dear Josh, whatever. Um, so very informal, I'll do Dear Josh, comma, and here I can select if I want a comma or semicolon or nothing at all. Um, let's say that you have uh, somebody in your list that doesn't have a recipient name but they have an address. Um, then you want to uh, specify how you want those to be um, addressed. So here you can say, dear sir or madam, or to whom it may concern, um, or nothing at all. Uh, so uh, that's up to you. I'm going to say, dear sir or madam. And then you can see a preview of what it'll look like. And I can actually scroll through them and pick um, and select, um, or I should say, and review what, what all of mine look like. That looks correct to me, so I'm just going to click OK, and there you can see my greeting line field is entered into my letter. And you know that because you see the little uh, greater than, less than signs on either side. And then you can start your letter. So um, I would like to, you to be um, back up. Um, now let's say that you want to add in a field in the middle of your letter, let's just say. Um, I know this is important to you, comma, Sam, or whatever their, their name is. Um, instead of entering like the entire greeting line and putting the entire um, uh, section together, you can add just individual fields wherever you need. So I want to say, I know this is important to you, first name. Um, so I'm going to click Insert Merge Field, and I'm just going to pick First Name. So I know this is important to you. Um, um, so please bring a friend from, and then I'm going to add their city. So I'm going to say, I know this is important to you, Joe, so please bring a friend from Hudson, or whatever. And then you can finish it off. Thank you. And Now, if you want to see what this is going to look like, you have the option up at the top to preview the results. So here I can click Preview Results, and that, that will show you what, what your letter looks like. So you can see, you know, Dear John, and then here's my other field. I know this is important to you, John, so please bring a friend from home. Um, when you're finished, when you're happy with this, you scroll through all the all of them using the, the uh, uh, arrows at the top, where you can you can scroll through the different records so you can see what they all look like. Um, I usually will do a spot check just because, um, especially on labels. 
sometimes folks with longer names will, will force your text to go to another line. Um, so just kind of keep an eye on it. I, in this particular example, most of my names are pretty short. Um, so they all look okay. Um, so once you're happy there, you can just click Finish and Merge, and then you have a couple options here. So you can edit individual documents. That means that's going to save each one of these documents. Um, you can just choose to print it from here, or you can send your email messages. So if I were to say edit individual documents, here it's basically just a step before printing, you know, if you wanted to save them or edit them. Um, so I can say all, if you only wanted to do a few, you could say that you want to do, um, you know, maybe just the first hundred in your list. Since we have such a short list, though, I'll do all and click OK. And then you can see here is my letter. You can see I have seven pages, and each page is a new letter. Now I just want to show you a little bit about um, labels. It's very, very similar. Um, I just started a new document, and I'm going to go to Mailings, and I'm going to select Labels. Most of the time when you buy labels, you'll, you'll see the actual number of the label, the Avery number or the Avery equivalent number um, listed on the package of the, of the label. Um, so usually you can just select which label you want. Um, here, um, oh, this is a good one. These are some name badges that I created actually for the seminar that we did yesterday. Um, so this will be uh, a good one to start out with. If you wanted to do, let's say, mailing address labels, um, you can just go under options and change those labels there. Um, so. If you wanted just a regular mailing label, you could pick it from here. I'm going to stick with my um, I'm going to stick with my my uh, name badge. Um, so I'll click cancel from here. Um, and uh, I'll I'll use my um, regular name badge. So here, I'm just going to click New Document, and it's going to give me my name badges. And this will look exactly the same if it were a, a label for an envelope, um, except your labels will be a different size and you'd put different content on them. <laughs> um, but the steps remain the same. Um, so here, I'm just going to say Start Mail Merge, and I'm going to do my labels. Oh, I did that step already. Um, I'm going to select my recipients, and I'm going to use an existing list. Um, now, when I did this in real life, I had my list um, in our system that we used for tracking registrations. So I had just exported it to Excel, and then I pulled it from there. Um, so here again, I'm saying Sheet 1. I do have headers, so I'll say OK. Um, now, you'll notice one thing that, that throws folks off a lot um, is formatting your labels. And basically, labels in Word are just tables. So if you've ever used tables, um, it, the formatting is, is basically the same. That's how they get, they get the labels to kind of align on the page. Um, so a lot of your formatting is basically done with the table. Um, so let's say that I want to, I want to center my name. So I'm just going to click on the Layout tab. And I'm just going to click the center button there. Okay. And so now, when I add my fields, they'll be centered on the label. Um, so I'm going to insert my, let's just say, first name. And I'll do a space, and I'll insert the last name. And then let's say underneath that, I want the company name. Okay. And I want to format this a little bit. Um, maybe I want the text to be a little bit larger, what have you. 
Um, that's the same as any other Word document, so I can make that text larger. Um, I can change the color of the text, let's say. All right, from there, if you select the button that says Update Labels, that's what sort of pushes them out to all the other labels. And here I can preview the results and I can see all of my labels. So you'll notice that when I centered um, the text vertically, it doesn't look like it did it for the other labels. So that's all right. I can just select the entire table again. I can go back to layout and I can just be sure that they're centered. I'll just click on that center button again. So very similar for labels as it is for um, letters. So I can uncheck preview results. Now let's just pretend that these were mailing labels. Maybe you wanted to do um, you know, larger mailing labels. You were sending out boxes or larger envelopes. Um, it would be very similar. As a matter of fact, first name, last name would probably stay, you know, probably stay there. Um, if you wanted to put the company name first, you could. Here, I'm just going to do my insert merge field and add my company name. First and last name. Um, I might do the address. And do the city. Add a comma and a space. The state. And a couple spaces. And the zip code. And that will probably look a little funny being centered. Um, so I'm just going to go back to my layout and I'm going to just left justify it. Um, I am going to keep it vertically centered though. Usually with labels, I try to do that um, only because it's so easy to have um, some of the text kind of fall off the label and start, start getting cut off a little bit. So whenever possible, I try to keep it centered vertically so that 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 doesn't happen. So if you want to see what that looks like, you can just select um, update labels and that'll update all of them and then preview the results. And there you can see all of the results. You can turn it off if you want to play around with the formatting a little bit. Let's say that you want to you know, bold the company name and you want that maybe to be a little bit larger. You can do that, just remember to click Update Labels. That's what pushes it out to all the other labels. Um, and then you can preview it. You can see each one here. Um, same thing applies for the email. Um, let me just show you that real quick. I know that we're running short on time. Um, but it's very, very similar. Um, so here if I go to mailings and I do my start mail merge, I'm just going to select email messages now. Okay. And it's very similar. Here, and then I'll pick the list that I want to start with. And I can add the fields in. I can add in another merged field. Peggy is now joining. Okay. And again, if you want to preview, you can see what that looks like Dear Joe. You can see my my scribbles of typing and then there's the company name that I added. Of course you can turn it off. Okay. And, your name. and then you can do the finish and merge. And you can choose to um, 
edit the individual documents, which would save those individually, just like our letter, or you can just send it right from here, send email messages. Now, this particular list, remember, didn't have any email addresses associated with it. I just had mailing information. Um, so you do have to be able to um, get those email addresses somewhere. So you can either start from your Outlook co contacts, or you can start with a list that has email addresses on there. All right, um, so that concludes our time together. Um, thank you so much for joining. If you have any questions about mail merge, um, please reach out to me. Uh, like I said, my name is Patty. And my email address, uh, let me pull it up on the screen here for you. It's just Garrett. Patty at simplex is now exiting. simplex-it.com. Uh, if you have any questions, I'd be more than happy to help you out. Remember, next month we're going to talk about using charts in Excel. Um, so. So uh, we'll go through some of those different options for the charts and when you might want to use one versus another. Okay? Again, if you have any ideas for other topics that you'd like to have covered in our office webinars, please let us know. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.